Sorry for everybody, it's Render7 on here. The quick help video for anybody having issues with memory allocator problems in ARMA 2, uh, Operation Arrowhead, or the beta file, or the beta patch. What I mean by memory allocator errors is DLL errors uh, involving the malloc, TBB4 or TBB3 malloc. And if you have these kind of errors in your .rpt file, or your crash report, I'll show you how to fix it or how I fixed it. Um, and I'll show you how uh, to use a page file system and also a little shortcut in your startup parameters to maybe help you out. I, I kept getting this about 10 to 15 minutes uh, into gameplay. It was fucking annoying as hell. I was crashing. I have a freaking really good system. I have uh, a 780. I have you know SSD drives and all this shit. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it's a real good CP CPU and computer system in a whole. But I was getting these crashes and I don't know why so now I went on a bunch of forums and figured out and I've been error free from these kind of uh, crashes ever since so first off um, to check and see if you're having these kind of issues you might get a crash report when your game crashes you might have something like this alright didn't give you much information it just tells you hey I'm a 2 oa.exe crashed exception code C bunch of zeros 5 you copy and paste that into your uh, Internet Explorer or Chrome whatever you're going to find a bunch of different reasons. What you need to do is actually research deeper. Yeah, you might, if you're lucky, get a thing that says tb 4 malloc.bi underscore bi dot dll in here. And that, that tells you right off the bat that's a memory allocator issue. What that is is basically that's a system that Arma 2 uses to allocate your memory for best for better gameplay and better graphical. Um, better gameplay, better graphics, and better interaction between how much your GPU and CPU are doing we're using memory and it's shit inside of ARMA 2 for me at least and if you have Windows 7 which I'm going to show you here just to prove it Windows 7 even their wiki says that Windows 7 allocator seems to be quite good and it and it may therefore make sense for some users to delete all custom allocators on Windows 7 or newer so that's what I did and I'll show you how I did it. But first, let's see if you're getting the right crash and how you check a crash report. You need to go to your my computer. Uh, I have mine is my user files are located in my hard drive, my main hard drive. Users, my name, app data, local, Arma 2 OA. All right. Here you have your RP .rpt file, which is Arma 2 OA .rpt. That's basically a report of every time you launch a game, it gives you a report. Um, good, bad, and different. Uh, this is not the actual TB4 crash report, but I want to show you how to actually get to that information because you have a lot of shit inside here to look at. I'm opening it up with uh, Notepad++, which is free download if you can't open it. And do we have how many lines of code here? Or 38,000? So you're like, what the? F what is all this? I don't know what the hell is going on. All right, <laughs> the best thing to do is go to Find, and you're going to put .exe. Boom. What it's going to do is going to go to where your faults happen, your errors, and that's going to go to always, it somehow usually involves arma2oa.exe, stop responding somehow. There you go. You find that error. Um, and it should say, and in this error, it should, it should have something with tbb4 malloc underscore bi dot dll somewhere in here, usually under fault address or something like that. If, that, if that's what it's saying, there's a problem with your memory allocator. You also use Windows Event Viewer to try to find uh, error reports, but this is the best one for ARMA 2. So here's, here's how I fix mine. You go to where your game's installed. Mine's under Steam. So I go here. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. ARMA 2. Now if you have the beta patch installed and using the beta patch, you want to do the same principle for both DLL folders. So we're going to go to our DLL folder. And usually you're going to have five different uh, drivers in here, or sorry, .dll files. Uh, I've, I've already deleted one of them, but there's a tbb4, uh, tbb3, this gem, ned, tc. Uh, on this one I actually renamed it because I was trying to mess around without taking it out of that folder, but I just decided to go ahead and make a backup folder, which you can just do, new folder, name it backup, and cut, cut and paste all those DLL files into here to save them. And then you want to go to your beta patch under expansion, beta, DLL, 
cut and paste those five, four or five DLL files, put them right back up. And then you can see here I'm missing that TB4 and TB3, which is fine. So that's how I solved some of the problems. Let me go to another issue. Even after that's done, Windows 7 has its own Windows uh, memory allocator. You want to go to your page file and see how much page file, how much virtual memory you have assigned to use. So what I'm going to do here is go to my computer or computer, right click on it and go to properties, advanced system settings, and I'll go to settings under performance, advanced performance settings, advanced, you know, look down here to virtual memory, change. I originally had it automatically manage my page filing system for all drives. This may or may not help after you take out those DLL files. Um, I just did this as an extra precaution off of some forums just to make sure that my game's getting enough me memory to run at high settings. If you're using another way to, to help these DLL files is to low, lower your settings to medium. You know, I like to play my shit on high. I got a high-end computer, so I want to get the, the most visual uh, bang for my buck. So what I did is on my C drive here. I put my minimum page file to 2,000, or my uh, virtual memory and max to 8,000. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you want to lower that to probably 1,000, maybe 3,000, 4,000, up to you. This right here did help. Um, this is an optional step. If you're still having problems after you take those files out of your DLL folders, try this. I was going to ask you after you do this, you want to manually custom size uh, to restart. Are you you put set, it'll ask you to restart, we go ahead and restart. But I'm not going to do that right now. Alright. Now, the third step I took, just to make sure that the game is not going to use that TB, TBB4 crap Windows, uh, that game allocator. I, I use when, uh, Play With 6 to launch my game. Uh, you can use this on your Steam. You can use the same principle on any kind of launcher. You're just going to put a startup parameter. Go to settings, game settings, startup parameters. You have, I only have three here. You only, you only need this one if you want to try to fix this. This forces a game to use your system memory allocator. So it's a dash malloc, M-A-L-L-O-C, equals system. So I have three precautions here. I have the DLL files taken out. I have my page file uh, good enough to handle high loads of memory for the gameplay. And I also have this, uh, this dash malloc system. I did this, ever since I did this, I've had no crashes due to uh, memory errors whatsoever. So, uh, I had one crash that was related to me picking up a PMC weapon. It was kind of a glitch, and I looked in, I went to my Steam, re-downloaded PMC, you know, whatever. But no memory allocation issues. This is a game stopper. It, it could happen when you start up your game, 10 minutes into a game, 20 minutes into a game. It's fucking horrible. But this is how I fixed it. Now, like the wiki said, this is for Windows 7 users, if your shit can handle it. Not responsible for breaking your shit, but this is how I fix mine, and I hope you fix yours. Um, any questions, I'll try to help as best I can. I'm not a tech guy, but I am do my research and try to help best I can. So uh, leave some comments below, and uh, see you later. Windows 7, 9 out.